Once you have drafted your meeting agenda, share it with attendees to give them a chance to review it and add input. Asking for input from attendees gives them a sense of ownership over the process and encourages attendees to prepare for the discussion. In this video, you will share your agenda with someone else in your class, your instructor or friend or family member. Set your sharing permissions. Select whether people accessing your document can view so they can read it but can't make any changes or comments. Comment so they can insert comments and make suggestions but not change the text directly or edit so they can change the text. If you would like meeting attendees to be able to make changes to the agenda and insert meeting notes during the actual meeting, give them permission to edit. If you haven't determined the length of the meeting, do that now. A meeting shouldn't last more than an hour unless it is for a special purpose, such as an annual review, retreat, or award ceremony. Then include a note that asks for input on the agenda and provides meeting logistics information. Your list of attendees will receive an email with your message and a link to the agenda. When they open the document, they will be able to contribute ideas and make suggestions. After everyone has had a chance to add their ideas, decide which ideas to include on the final agenda. Be sure to provide a reason for rejecting any suggestions. Comments you leave next to a suggestion can still be seen in the comment log after you reject or accept them. This is also a good opportunity to give your note taker permission to edit the agenda. They will need to be able to do this while taking notes during your meeting. Once you have finished your agenda items, estimate the time you anticipate spending on each section. Use your best judgment and remember that going over your time estimate for any section of the agenda during the meeting means less time can be spent on other items later. You may even need to move items to a future meeting agenda because you were unable to discuss them. To avoid this situation, work backwards from the total duration of the meeting and select the most pressing and important items to be covered first. Nice work! Now you can conduct your meeting with your updated agenda. To ensure an effective meeting, follow these steps. Give attendees access to a copy of the agenda. Make sure the designated note taker takes thorough notes. Start on time. Remember that everyone's time is valuable. Take attendance. Follow up with anyone who does not attend. Stick to the outline and the schedule. Any items that need more time for discussion should be added to unfinished business for the next meeting. Unfinished business also should be used if you run out of time and are unable to get to a certain item. Encourage honest discussion and an open exchange of ideas. Assign action items and deadlines as new tasks come up so attendees know what they need to do and by when. Follow up on key discussion points and action items with an email to the group. Now it's your turn. Share the agenda with attendees. Ask for input on new business items. Estimate the allotted time for each section and follow the steps for conducting a successful meeting.